Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. It is two days after Christmas and boy, we have some catching up to do. But first, let's call out the elephant in the car. Yes, there are sheets all over my seats in my car because Diesel has a vet appointment today and Lola has a vet appointment today. So we always put sheets over the seats in my car to try to prevent a lot of hair from transferring into my car. The joy of having a lab that sheds like crazy. We have to take Diesel to the vet because we found a couple of lumps on him. Now we're assuming that these are just fatty lumps, but we wanna be absolutely sure. So we decided to go ahead and take him to the vet just to make sure that they're just fatty lumps and then Lola, Miss Little Lola needs her nails cut. So that is my plan after Weight Watchers this morning. But before I go in, I wanna talk with you guys just a couple minutes about the holiday. So. I will preface this with the fact that I am not looking forward to weighing in today. Again, I almost thought maybe I wouldn't weigh in today and just start fresh next week. But after last week and talking with you guys and letting you know that I want to have a starting point for 2020's weigh-ins, I'm going to go ahead and weigh in today against my better judgment because I had a great Christmas. I had a great week of Christmas. I had tons of parties. I ate tons of fabulous food, had drinks all the things for the week of Christmas. So it's not gonna be pretty when I weigh in this morning, but I really truly do want a starting point for 2020. This is my last weigh in of 2019. I cannot even believe that. And I am very proud of myself for two reasons. Even though I know that when I get on the scale today, it's going to be dreadful. I am proud of myself because yesterday, not only did I go to Jazzercise, I also got back on track. So I decided why wait till January 1st and I actually got back on track yesterday. So I'm very proud of myself for those two things. So I guess that's a win in my book, but I'm dreading, literally dreading the scale this morning. So with that being said, I'm going to head into my workshop, weigh in, stay for the workshop, and I'll be back to share all of the juicy details with you. Hi friends, I'm out of my WW workshop and it was such a great topic. I was pleasantly surprised, honestly, how many people were there today. I didn't think we'd have as big of a turnout after the Christmas holiday because people don't wanna come and weigh in after Christmas. Uh, I felt the same way. So there was quite a bit of a turnout and I thought the topic really was on point for this time of year and it is how to thrive during the holidays and it's a lot about self-care and doing things for yourself throughout the holidays because that way a better version of yourself you're a better version for your family so i'm going to talk to you guys about some of the tips that ww has on how to thrive this holiday season tip number one is find time for activity this doesn't have to be going to the gym or in my case going to jazzercise or running a mile find Find little bits of time that you can get a little bit of activity in. For example, park far out in the parking lot so you have to walk just a little bit further to go to your favorite store. Any little bit of activity this time of year is going to help counteract maybe some of the not so good food choices that we're making. Now, if you can get to the gym or jazzercise or get in a good workout here and there during this busy time of year, even better. So make sure that somehow day to day you're getting in that little bit of activity. Take the stairs, park far away, walk to your mailbox instead of picking up your mail when you're driving into your home for the day. So just do little things to try to fit in just a little bit of exercise. Now, if you can get some activity in, even better, but schedule it. Schedule it with a family member who's in town visiting for the holidays or maybe a friend that you haven't seen for a while. Schedule in a little bit of time to get in a good solid workout. Take a walk with a friend. Take a jog with a friend. Maybe hit up the gym for a class with some of your gym friends. For me, going to Jazzercise is fabulous, but it's even better when I get to go with my friends that I go to Jazzercise with. In fact, today we were just mapping out our plan for the upcoming week and hitting up Jazzercise. So just schedule in a good workout at least once a week through the rest of the holiday season. If you can get in even more even better. But by com combining that little bit of activity every day, like walking in the parking lot or taking the stairs and getting in a good workout with family or friends, even better. And you'll just see a little bit more success on the scale this holiday season. 
Embrace JOMO. Yes, my friends, JOMO stands for the joy of missing out. Embrace that. RSVP, say yes, and go to the parties and the events that mean the most to you and send a thoughtful note to the ones that you're going to skip. And I know for me, we were invited to quite a few parties this holiday season, and that's not stopping because we have New Year's coming, and we do go to a party every New Year's Eve at my cousin's house, but we're going to skip out on any other little parties and events that happen between now and New Year's. It's okay not to go to every event that you're invited to. Pick the ones that mean the most to you, go to those, and make sure that you thoughtfully not attend the ones that aren't the most important to you. And I think sending a little note or a text or whatever that says, thank you so much for the invite, but we're going to have to pass because of this is not a bad thing. You're thanking them for the invite, but you're skipping out on the events that are going to throw you off track and impact your weight loss journey and going to the ones that really mean the most to you. So for the rest of this holiday season, Jomo, my friends, Jomo. Next is get ready with your friend for the next event that you have. So the next holiday party, say it's New Year's Eve, find a friend, get ready with them and have a good time. You guys dance, jump around, have fun getting ready, turn on some music and dance as you get ready for that party. You're going to get in that little extra bit of movement. It's going to be fun and it's going to fill your heart and your soul with such good memories before the actual event even starts. And I find that when I turn on music, when I'm getting ready for something or the TV, or YouTube and I'm just engrossed in what I'm doing and I'm enjoying getting ready, it just makes it that much better. And by throwing on a little bit of music and getting in a little bit of extra steps, again, even better for success on the scale. And again, the next one, take time for yourself. We're so busy buying gifts and doing things for others throughout the holiday season. We don't tend to take a lot of time for ourselves, which is a big mistake. We need self-care. We are a better version of ourselves for others when we take care of ourselves. I know for me, when I feel better about myself, I'm a happier person in general. I'm a better wife. I'm a better friend. I'm a better realtor. I'm a better YouTuber. I'm better overall when I'm happy and content with myself. So take 20 minutes a day for yourself, whether that be a hot bath at night, before bed, going to a yoga class, working out, reading your book before bed, or just sitting there and meditating in the morning. Take 20 minutes of time for yourself this holiday season because, again, you'll be a better version of yourself, which makes you a better version for other people. And the last one is a big one. If you have family or friends in town, if you have overnight guests, even for a short period of time, and especially for a large period of time, take a break from each other. Not only will you appreciate a little bit of a break, they will appreciate it too, I promise. Take 30 minutes for yourself. Take a nice hot shower or a long bath or get away for 30 minutes, whether they go in one room and you go in another or they go out on the town and you go out on the town, whatever it is, take 30 minutes away from your overnight guests and give yourself a chance to reboot and recharge. Not only will you appreciate it, but they will as well because Honestly, we get sick of people after we've been with them for a long period of time. So if we take just that 30 minute recharge, it really makes a difference in our relationships and interactions with our overnight guests. So that was this week's topic. I love it. I love all the tips to take better care of yourself when then in turn you take better care of others. So just remember during the holiday season when we're giving to everybody else, make sure you give a little bit back to yourself. It is so incredibly important. So again, Way to hit the nail on the head, WW. So with the topic ending, let's talk a little bit about my weigh-in. As I shared with you before I went into my workshop, I really enjoyed my holidays. And you know what? I don't even regret a minute of it because I had a fantastic Christmas. I had a fantastic week leading up to Christmas. I enjoyed the holiday events that I attended. And it's over now. And I feel a sense of relief that it's over. All I have left is a New Year's Eve party. And I can do that. I'll save my weeklies for New Year's Eve. And again, back on track yesterday. So there will be no treat day this week because I'm going to be saving my points that I earned today with a fresh set of weeklies to save for New Year's Eve. So I feel really good and recharged for the upcoming year. I've set some goals and in fact, my goal video will be coming out here shortly. So you're going to hear all about my goals for 2020. I have an entire video where I share my top 10 goals and you guys, I feel really good about it and I am extremely excited for 2020. It is going to be far better as far as weight loss goes for me than 2019 was. And I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited about it. 
So with all the indulgence that happened over the last week or so and really not attending Jazzercise until yesterday when I stepped on the scale, I am up 3.4 pounds. So I did not end December maintaining. I'm actually up, I don't even know, I'll put it here on the screen for you guys, over a couple pounds for the month of December. But you know what? I was thinking about it today and I was talking with someone at my workshop. Before WW, I would have gained 10 or 12 pounds during the holiday season from Thanksgiving through New Year's, easy, could have gained 10 or 12 pounds. So the fact that I'm up a couple of pounds is terrible, but it's also good in a sense because it's a couple of pounds, not 10 or 12. And I can much easier take off two pounds than I can 10 or 12. So with that, that was my way in. I deserve every one of those 3.4 pounds, but I'm excited for this next week. And I'm really hoping when I step on the scale next week, I have a great loss. It's basically a restart and a reboot for me, but I'm not waiting till the first of the year. I'm doing it right now because my health cannot wait till the first of the year. And I have goals. I have goals for 2020 and why not start those goals now? So that was my way in. That's my plan for this week. I'm excited to restart reboot. I actually was talking to my girlfriend and we're going to go to Jazzercise in the morning. So I am off and running already for the new year. So I want to hear in the comments, how was your Christmas and how was your way in? I, I literally, you guys, don't feel bad if you gain because every single person at my workshop, every single one of them had a gain. It may not have been very much, but everyone had a gain. There wasn't one person that lost at my workshop. So don't beat yourself up if you have a gain. Give yourself a little grace and just remember it could have been a lot worse before you started on your WW journey. So in the comments, I want to hear how your weigh-in went. How was your Christmas? What are you most excited about for the new year? Leave me some comments so that we can talk and I can read your comments. It gives me motivation and it makes me happy to hear that I'm not the only one in this same situation. And of course, I want to hear what your goals are as well. So thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. It is almost a new year, a new decade, and it is time for a new you, a new us in 2020. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you take a moment and just hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one for a new you, a new year. And of course, leave those comments down below. And thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy holiday season to watch my video and be part of my YouTube friends and family. I love you guys. Happy New Year. Let's do this and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.